Here we are. We're going to do something. I'm going to do something different tonight. I told Carl last week I'm going to put uh, all my photos, my headlines, uh, so if we can uh, fill it in, and uh, you'll get a bit of a rough idea what sort of headlines I was getting back from the late early 60s to uh, whatever. So we'll start off in 1960. That was uh, that's when I injured my leg in the last home game home game of the season, the Mr. Finals, and that was the headline Murray Lawson put up there, Pete Ling's Pete Ling's efforts for a swing game and Al Alred's favourite. So that's the first one, and there's another one with Ian Morgan. We pitched 13 goals between the two of us there. That was in 60, 62 or 63. Pete Lee Morgan, as I say there, star and rough win. That was a pretty good headline. They're two down below there. But Murray Lawson, the chief rider up in Portion, was a bit of a fan of mine too, thank God. It's a 62. Uh, what did I say there? Panthers. Yeah, I got the, I got three votes that day, but that was one of the that was early 62. I got from 61 to 67. Someone like Shepherd and stuff is coming up shortly. And here's another photo of, uh, that was put on the, the headlines of the TV and Ballarat Channel 6 on a Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon footy show. That was the number one photo. And here's another different sort of photo. John McGurley was 6 foot 8 and I was about 5 foot 3 or something. That was. It's like a photo, one of the good photos from way back. And there's another action photo when I was playing in the Wimmer League. That's me, as a boy, in the middle, and Wayne Farr, and the Graham Gale behind me, and Bobby Baker behind him. That was uh, it's a pretty good photo. That was a good action. That was on the, the start of the BTV6 Channel football show on a Sunday for five years, that photo. And this is when I broke my neck. Pete Lane will miss the rest of the season with a fractured neck from a fractured skull. I'm lucky to be alive and hold this paper up here. I can tell you that now. I was in hospital for three months. Even look at that photo, giving yourself a headache. This is another one in 62. Mr. Lawson, he was a bit of a fan of mine too, Murray Lawson, but uh, the three votes that day. And hit the photo in the corner there. And here's another action photo. Well, that was one of the same as before. That was the one I was on BTV6 Sunday morning footy show. Like you said before, four or five years that photo. This is when I went up to uh, Horsham a couple of years ago to pick. Murray Lawson asked me, he rang me up about uh, two weeks before and said, Barry, why don't you come up and uh, have a word with me and you can pick your team of the 60s. That was, I picked my team of the 60s. I had no complaints either. They sold about an extra 200 copies that week. No joking. We've seen, John McGill, we've seen that one, yeah. Well, this, is when I, this is back in 91. I was, Murray Lewis rang me up again. I used to, was quite in good contact with Murray Lewis over the last 20 years, and he, he rang me up and said, come up and uh, we'll do an interview. And uh, there's a couple of places up there open for coaching. So I went up there and uh, I didn't get the coaching job. That's a story put in the paper. Pretty good. There I'm in Shepparton now. Girl Lemnos. I was up there for a couple of years and that was. And I finished doing the goal kicking up here and then the women in that GVL too. That was a pretty good photo too. And this is where I head the award, yeah, up in Shepparton. I was second on the goal kicking list with about three games to go, and I finished up running third in the goal kicking list. I won the award in uh, the GVL. A bit of a rugged photo there of me, I'd say, look, I was about 95 there. And here's the last one, my second last one. Another headline. This is cricket. 
I was playing up in the Mattel, bigger part of the in, in the Mattel League, and 131 not out. The only century I ever made in my life. 131 not out wasn't bad. I took four wickets, so I got, nearly got the man of the match. So. And this is one photo I just found a long, long time ago. School photo in the 50s. Was I captain there or vice captain? I think I might have been vice captain. We were premiers and champions at Sunday Nights of School. We played against St. Bees and uh, D. Larcel at Thompson College. That was pretty, that's 45, 50 years old, that photo. Pretty good nick, isn't it? So there you are. There's a little bit of Colin sat there. He said, Do you want to I said, I might. He mentioned to me last week. I said, I think I might get it. I'd like to give it a little bit of a history of uh, the last 40 years that I've been playing football. And uh, and I thought I'd do that. And so I got all those cuttings out today and it took a while to get them all sorted out. But anyway, there it is there now. But uh, we'll be doing a video on Monday next week because Colin was away last week. And uh, we'll keep us all up to date with uh, how Chelsea's going with the... Uh, The bigger part, MPL is playing some other competition. Well, I might go and watch that, but that should be a good game down in Frankston Park. But then we start the week after we play. Uh, I'll tell you who we play the week after. Chelsea's going right the second on the ladder. Now, where is this? Where is it? Here we are. Good point. Lang Warren at Lang Warren. So all you Chelsea people out there watching, get out there and support your club because we need it. We're gonna we're gonna get this uh, fix up this competition, get back in the in the big stuff next year. That's for sure. For you. It happened when I first started following Chelsea about 1991. First year I followed them, they finished on the bottom. I went down to the second division the following year, and they won the flag. So they, that's, they've, they've had, they have been back in that division about 20 years ago. Now they're uh, they're undefeated. No, they've lost one game to uh, Dramatic, who will probably nearly win the flag too. But I think we'll uh, we'll finish in the top three and we'll play off the final. Hopefully we win this the grand final in this competition and get back in the senior league next year because it's a lot of bloody traveller now. Too far away, Ryan. Uh, what's your other name? Like? Somerville, Car uh, Kringle. Kringle's all right. Don't know where Devon. Pearsdale's ain't about 20 miles away. Ryan, that's a day and a half trip. Take your lunch down there, set up camp. Hastings, they're all, they're all too far away. Most of the supporters are not going to the games because it's too far away. But I'll be going the following week because they're playing the. Uh, what was it? Where are they? Yeah, we're playing Lang Warren. I'll go to that game. It's not that far away, Lang Warren. And the following week is Crib Point. So that's all for me to, tonight. Something very different. I hope you all uh, might tune in to check all those little photos. And uh, well, something different, eh? <laughs> it might be different. So that's all for me today. Bye bye.